Hi guys, today I'm going to be discussing the problems with disability transportation, um, the ADA bus system, paratransit, whatever you want to call it in your state, because every state has their own disability transportation. Um, there are a lot of issues with it. I've lived in New Jersey and I've lived in Florida. And these bus systems really aren't very helpful to people with disabilities. Some some bus systems, you know, you have to wait, you have to make an appointment, and then you have to wait 20 minutes before that time, 20 minutes after that time to be picked up. Um, a lot of times you can arrive late to your appointment, your job your college classes, you know, to the store. You don't know when you're, what time you're going to get home. You don't know how long you're going to be on the bus until you arrive at your destination. It's just really unreliable. And every state has its own disability transportation. And sometimes each county will have their own disability transportation. You know, it's really hard because right now I'm looking for for jobs. And, you know, even if I apply, even if they call me back for an interview, I have to call the boss and ask if they even go there. And, you know, right now I, I'm at a point where, you know, this this disability bus, you know, they pick and choose where they go and where they don't go. And you don't know where they go versus where they don't go. They can say we go in this county, but then they don't go to every place in the county. So it's extremely frustrating, you know. Sometimes they can pick you up early, earlier than the set times they're supposed to pick you up. So you have to be ready early. Sometimes they're late picking you up, you know. Sometimes they'll be late getting you to places, you know, and it's okay if, you know, you're going to the YMCA or you're going to the store. But for jobs and, you know, for people with disabilities to maintain jobs and to not have, you know, reliable transportation, it's, it's a really big deal, you know. And on top of me having right hemiparesis cerebral palsy, which makes it extremely difficult for me to be able to drive, I have dyscalculia, which is a math learning disability, and I have no sense of direction. So even if I could get, um, you know, a, a, a knob for the steering wheel for my left hand and get the pedal on the left side, I have no sense of direction. I struggle with left and right, you know. I can't tell you how to get from point A to point B because I have no idea. And when I do memorize things, like to walk somewhere, if I do memorize that, you know, if I haven't done it in a while, I forget because I'm not learning it. I'm just memorizing it. So I just wanted to come on here to, to talk about, you know, the flaws in uh, disability transportation and how it's really not reliable. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.